everybody I want to attempt to show you how we make these hangabouts I've seen previous videos um, with me showing you what I've made my friend made them and she showed me how to do them so I want to attempt to do a tutorial on it so please bear with me um, the items you're going to need is you're going to need some sand and it has to be clay sand clean clean sand it can't be builder's sand so you need some sand that's for the weight um you need some of this it's like a rubber non-slip surface thing and you get it from the pound shop on a roll like like so and then obviously you're going to need some material and some interface um interface and the best one to get really is the iron on so the pieces you're going to need if i you're going to need two full lengths that size and I've ironed the interface on already so on mine just to save a bit of time you're going to need two circles with interfacing ironed on so we've got that then you're going to need two pieces like this and what you're going to do is iron it iron it and inside to get the hems and then we're going to be sew, sew them around and then you need two square pieces which are going to go like this and you're going to need these um, which we will go through that as I, as I go along so they're, they're the uh, items you're going to need to make oh yes and some spare just some rough it does, I'm using the same because this is scraps now but scraps of material to make your actual sandbag to go inside the top right so first of all you're going to want to sew your three circles together so you've got your interfacing and two pieces of material and you want to do that on a zigzag um on your sewing machine so i'm just going to do that now you've got that then when you take one of your pieces of your longer longer piece now i am going to put a link to my friend's blog a joe's art she has got written instructions with all the sizes and measurements of what you need i'm not very good with all that side of stuff so it's easy if you just go and check her things out and what you want to do is you get the material and material facing and then you're going to sew all the way around now this obviously takes some time so I'm not going to do that. Um, so basically, where's the one I've done? I've I've done that already. So then you want to get, you want to do the other side. So you're going to get your long piece of material, and you are going to measure up. I just move this machine. I'm sorry because these materials are a bit smaller once they've sewn up you want to measure up there so we need to sew a line down here so that we can cut off this excess so we sew through that so then you turn this inside out well, the right way actually not inside out it's already inside out so then you've got your tube like so then you want to put this inside there so that the material of both facing the right way to each other they're touching each other the right way materials then you want to sew um probably half an inch in there like so all the way around and then you want to get oh I didn't actually say this I forgot all about it I knew I'd forget it. an ingredient as such some boning uh, this is a, a quarter of inch boning and then what you want to do then is you need to this on a zigzag again so and you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing really because of the way the machine is but you basically 
you're going to touch this bone in there and you're going to sew it on a zigzag all the way around that edge at the top and once once you've done that this is what it will look like it's like that then what you're going to do is you're going to pull that up like so. And then what you're going to do is sew this bottom of there to the bottom of the base all the way around again. So which then you will end up with it. Nope, that one's not been done. There was a duck. Like so. And you can trim off the excess material as well, but make sure you don't go for any other stitching. And then you just basically pull this back through again. And there's your base to it. That's your base done. I made a sandbag ready. This is going to be my base. This needs to be attached to the base. And then we have to put these in as well. I'm working it all out. And like so. And then putting them in there like that and then we need some big pins I did have them so you think you're getting organized but you actually ain't <laughs> there's always something you forget so in these I'm going all to the way through sure they all stay in place and what we're going to do is we're going to sew around three edges we don't want it sewing with these on and you'll see why And then you've got your base, basically, your top half, nice blue. And then you pop your sandbag in. So this can be quite tricky. I find it very tricky anyway to do. It's probably me. And then you're just going to sew this as neatly as you can along the edges there. Like so. Just trim off the extra. So you've got that there like that. Now like I say I'm not the neatest there unfortunately but we're getting there. Right so now we're going to attach these to the inside of here. So we're going to sew the inside of there with a buttonhole, with a button stitch, sorry. like so and then all you just need to do is attach some buttons there and there and if you want one in there and, and it's done so thanks for watching i hope you give it a try and i hope you'll be kind to me on this tutorial um thank you give me a thumbs up thanks bye